Hello, welcome to another watercolour lesson. Uh, today I'm going to be revisiting the ducks that I've, uh, that I've previously posted. Um, the paper I'm using is Bockingford, it's a Bockingford block. It's, uh, it's a small one and it, so it is 310 by 230 mils and it is a CP knot, it's a grain. It's a, it's a knot, it's a fine. So, <clears throat> and it's a block so we don't have to tape it down, which is quite good. Now, first of all, we are going to draw a duck on here. And nice and simple, we find our baseline, which is here. We'll just put a little marker there. I'm using a, I think it's a 2B pencil, uh, no, 4B lead it is, 4B lead. And firstly, I'm going to draw a line there for where my first duck is going to be standing. Uh, that's its head point. We've got a nice distance between the top and the bottom. I'll go up there a little bit more. And I'm going to draw like a figure eight. A figure eight. But the bottom of the figure eight is going to come about there. And that's your basic shape for a duck. Now then, we don't leave it like that. We have to actually trim it up and, but that's your basic shape. So what I do, I just flatten it off a little bit at the top and come down to either side and in there like that. And give it a, again a bit of a neck. And about halfway down, and down a little bit more, we'll put a line for where the top of the bill will be and we'll draw the bottom there as well. Now that line is going to point to one eye and he's going to point to another eye. Now it looks a bit loud, a little bit oval there, so we're going to give him some cheeks like that and fetch it in, fetch it in. All these pencil marks are very useful, but they are all going to be rubbed out at the end. So he's facing quite straight on, this guy. And I'm going to put a little duck necklace there and there. And then I'm going to go out a little bit here and a little further in now. Now, just to this, the right side of this, I'm going to put a little point a bit there. That's where his bum part is going. Now, we need to know that this book is on balance. So what we do, we put the top of the head and draw an imaginary line down to the bottom. And when it reaches the ground, that is where one of the legs should be standing. We don't do straight forward. We are going to go from the side, the other side. And we'll do a little curvy line, so he's he's struggling to keep into that position. He's having a little waddle, and now that leg can do whatever he wants. It could be up there if you want. It doesn't matter. It still looks like he's standing now. But I'm gonna have him going, having a bit of a waddle. He's thrown his leg out. There we go. And that's where he's a little knobble there, a little knobble there. And that wing is going to, we'll have, which one shall we do, higher and lower? We'll do that one lower and that one higher. So it's just little wings out, not too far out. He's keeping his dignity, this bird. He's, he's got standards to meet. So, so there you go. That's all we need to do for that duck shape. And that's quite easy. So for the colour, I'm going to use a little bit of thalo green. Um, a tad of thalo blue, just to mix together. Right, so we just put a little bit in here. Uh, for that side. And we'll go underneath there. And over to the, 
But then now we're going to go a little bit more bluey on this side. So it's a mixture of ultramarine blue and a little bit of thalo blue. Practice with your colours, mix them up as you want and you find your best way of, of interpreting your dog with your colours. There we go, I think that's all we need to do with that feather. I'm going to fix these feathers down a little bit. We don't want that band to look too shot off there. So now we're going to add a mix, little mixture of red. Crimson or there's a red. Bit of orange. Just for the top part of this necklace there. Just that bit. Now I'm going to rinse that and put some just clean water to pull those colours down. And now I'll put a bit of this blue and let those colours blend in together. There we go, and put down to there. And don't forget his little wings, one up there, one down there, keeping his balance but also his dignity. And add a little bit of red down there as well. Now then, you see what it's starting to add up there, that's alright for the time being, it's not going to run yet. And fetch some of this colour over here to the top of his legs. Now, I'm going to get a thirsty brush on this and just lift some of that out with a thirsty brush. And when I say a thirsty brush, it's a, it's a damp brush and you've just squeezed it out, squeeze that water out so it's still damp but it's ready to find a little bit of water and use it, bring it up. So this area here, I'm going to, before it completely dries, I'm going to just dab away on that side. So it's got a bit of light, a bit of a highlight over that area. And the same with this, I'm going to want a little bit of texture there. So now we can go straight over to his legs. So I'm using a bit of straightforward cadmium yellow into his, his old paddles there. And pull that down, that colour down there. the same with this beak that he has here. He's got a bit of cheek about him already, hasn't he? Right, let's let that dry. Back in a minute. And welcome back. Now this is all dried. We can just put a little bit of texture now. So let's first get a, a mixture of this green and a bit of this uh, ultramarine blue and we're just going to concentrate on this side I'm still using the same brush and there we go the brush that I'm using is a Perla Synthetico so I find that the synthetic ones have got more control especially for things like this so I'm going to go around there this is a Skoda by the way. Around there and I'll just add some details here. Now we'll go back to this uh, reddish colour that we 
started off with. Have you noticed how I'm not covering it all, I'm leaving bits on there. You should never go over it and cover it all because if you did that, what's the point of putting this lovely shade down initially? So, so we'll just indicate a couple of areas there. Now I'm going to make a nice and very, very watery wash there of that and bring so now move over to I'm going to use a bit of the blue um, mixed with that um, warm colour which has created a bit of a grey for me and I'm going to go all the way down here I'm just laying down some random shapes and this is going to be indicating the duck's feathers not all nice and neat but lots of them all jostling about for control as they always do and just I mean just touching it with the touching the paper with the tip of your brush now and again it just adds that texture and you don't have to be drawing every single feather in place now I'm going to go I have to be very careful here because I'm I'm going to do his eye but I'm going to leave a little bit if I can there we go there we go that's fine with a little bit of a shadow at that side now let that dry lifting off any big bits which are going to be welling up and causing a bit of bit of, little bit of bother we don't want that we don't want cauliflowers really but you know if you get the odd cauliflower hey deal with it don't worry about it it's just a piece of paper and you know what they say when life gives you melons you're dyslexic Okay, let's leave the, oh well, just put a little bit of orange on this side of this. I'll put a bit of orange up here as well. I'll just go over there. Oh, I think it will dry up nicely. So, back in a bit, we'll start on the next one. Uh, welcome back. As you can see, I've sketched a couple more um, ducks in here. Now, if you're not too good at drawing and you're a bit worried about getting the shape of the ducks right, don't be worried because I'm going to put a link um, at the bottom of the uh, the screen. And that's the top, that's pointing down. I can't do it, it's a bit weird this, isn't it? <laughs> At the bottom of the screen I'm going to put a link to where you can download uh, the, the initial drawing for this. So I'll do it in the uh, pen so you, can, um, so you can follow it easy. You can trace it, do whatever you want with it. Um, so I've but this guy here, he's like facing more towards him. So he's the leader of the gang. We're going to call him Gary. <laughs> okay. Bit rude. Bit naughty. Shut this one down. Anyway. Um, and. 
So we've got him facing that way. And this one is going to be facing that as well. I'll put a little neck band there. Alrighty, oh, he's got a little tail. He's a little bit further further around, so he's got a bit of a tail job going on there. So we put our pencil lines in. These legs are going at the back of this. Now he's he's in front, and I've shown he's in front because his his feet are a little bit lower than these other. These are on a different plane altogether, and that's because they're further back. Okay, so without further ado, let's get painting. Let's get, we'll start with that fella. Uh, this green colour. And as you can see, these are just, the pencil marks are just guidelines. We're not written in stone. That's a, a bit more of this pigments and that's a bit weak yeah it's not written in stone we can as we start to draw we can go a little bit further out or further in or whatever we want to do uh, and a couple there a little bit of the blue this side that side a little bit smoother than that side because this is the front Now, I'm going to make that a little bit more on the blue side here. So I'll add a little bit more blue here. And a little bit more green on that side. So I'm going to... Mm -mm -mm. Ba, 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 ba. Bit of green there. Okay, now while that's drying, Let's do the other one as well. We're going to do two in one here. So I'm not too worried about that pencil line going out there. You just use it as a guideline. Boom, boom, boom. It's not written in stone. Remember that. It's your picture. You can do what you like with it. Okay, and a little bit of this blue is over it. I'll bring that over there a little bit. I think it needed that shape. Boom, boom, down there. Right, now, get my thirsty brush out and pick up some of this colour here. It's causing a little bead along there, and the same with this one there. See, once it's done its job, we don't need it hanging around. If we're continuing down, then we we want to keep that that bead, but we don't. We're not we're not doing that. We're stopping there. Right now, then, let's get a bit of mixture of these warm colours and just use the tip of your brush just to. Indicate some feathering going on here. I'm adding a bit of orange now to this. This is just a mixture of um, crimson alizarin, red, and a bit of orange as well. And now, clean brush, clean water, do that, and then along here. Now I'll put this blue over here. Just to cool it down a little bit. And this is the leg and we'll just go down to the bottom part there. Right, now we'll do the same with this fella. Same colours. 
and some clean water. See, it's clean water. That just brings it down there. Just pulling it down. Probably a bit more of this pigment there. And a bit of blue down the bottom. Now I'm going to lift some of that out, lift some of that out, and just at the side of their faces, get a little bit of tissue paper and create a bit of a highlighting texture on this side. All right, now we're going to do the same with the bodies, we'll just give it a bit of texture over here and we'll let that dry a little bit okay welcome back that's all dried now it's all touch dried so I'm gonna using a bit of uh, a mixture of the thalo green and the thalo blue I'm just gonna put another layer of that colour just in little bits not covering all I don't want to do all of it and around there and do the same around this side as well because we've got the light coming from this angle so these are like shades shaded areas that's that bit now we'll dig into a little bit of warm color here so a bit of the same mixture of this really now if you want you can make another mixture of, of uh, purple even if you want that's nice so we're just going to create a uh, the illusion of it is the body bending around by sticking all this stuff on that side. Now, boom, boom, let's put a little bit of colour here. And I'm just going to just um, put some random brush strokes over here. Now with a clean brush, I'll shake off the excess, just around here, lifting some of these, this pigment out, just to make little marks on the, this side of his body. Now I think we could do with going straight into the cadmium yellow. Bring him over here. This cadmium yellow, I mean, it's going straight from the. It's not a tube, it's, um, it's the little blocks, you know. And uh, it's a decent size block, it's the full pan. Because he uses colour quite a lot. With that same brush, just drag that over there, and now I'm gonna before that runs away with me. Use a thirsty brush. Pull that down, and we're gonna do the same to this little fella here. So I'll put some. Some markings here. I'm just going to add a little bit of orange to this, to this mixture, and water it down. I just think it might not, might need that. I think it might be lovely. Right, underneath there. Now 
dip into the that greeny colour and some random little dashes with the brush yeah and a clean brush just to fetch some of this over here soften that edge and bring that uh, bring some of this colour over here Boom, 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 and thirsty brush here on this fella down there and drag that shape down. And do the same with him, and we'll drag that shape down. Right. Now, cadmium yellow again. Making sure that we show that these feet are at the back of this foot. And now let's have a look at these beaks. Is it a beak or is it a bill? Don't know. And over to this one. Right, let's let that dry now. Welcome back and now it's time to start to put in a little bit of darker shades in these characters so I'm going to um, make a mixture of my thalo green and thalo blue for these for the head part we've got a the lighter area there medium there and we're going to put a darker shadow around the eyes and around here I'll do the same with this fella. And on here. Lift all that off, it's starting to well up. Now we'll do the same with the uh, this part here. Now I'm going to get a mixture using a bit of red, crimson, and olive in, and I'm going to use a bit of the purple colour now, a bit of violet. Fire at the moment, so I'm going to come down here. Boom, boom, boom. This is going to be the darker one of the darker areas. So, and this, uh, this stage kind of brings it all together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bum, bum, 
Some random shapes, some random brush marks. It's got a really dark colour for the eyes. Be careful about where I put my fingers here. That one there. Put a little bit more darker in there. I'm leaving a little bit of white around the eyes to make it look better no no then here's my darkest shade of all hold on get around these little spots here now and now we drop a couple of dabs of dirty splashes because these ducks are a little bit splashy. Right, and now while that's drying, we just mix all my little colours together to give a bit of warmth and a bit of cool, and that should make a, a decent grey for the ground. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now we'll let that dry and hopefully it'll work out right that. Right. 